the characteristic radiation spectra each element exhibit a unique spectrum of radiation that it emits when an atomic gas or vapor undergoes excitation at low pressure typically through the passage of electric current the resulting radiation produces a spectrum with specific characteristics and wavelength the particular spectrum known as emission line spectrum is characterized by a bright light against a dark background the emitted radiation from an excited atomic hydrogen gas for example is illustrated fingerprint for identification the study of emission line for a material gives a distinctive fingerprint for the identification of gas each gas when excited emits radiation with unique and specific wavelength creating a recognizable pattern transmission to these gases when white light passes through a gas and the transmitted light is analyzed during a spectrometer certain dark line appears in the spectrum absorption spectrum the occurrence of dark line in the transmitted light spectrum matching the wavelength from emission line spectrum is termed as absorption spectrum of the gas material of the gas material this phenomena signifies the absorption of specific wavelength by gas when exposed to white light the essence in in essence the admission the emission line spectrum and the absorption spectrum collectively provide a distinctive signature or fingerprint for the identification of gases based on their unique radiation pattern okay let's see about the atomic spectrum okay yes just a moment yes what about the atomic spectra see whenever there would be a launching there was a launching of any of the any of the new event so there many new scientists would have would used to come new scientists old scientists and in short gathering of scientists was used to happen to understand the new thing so when the ford discovered this model he ex he invited everyone and there was a great scientist named as neil bohr whenever a scientist who had discovered discovered something used to explain this so the groups of scientists would will will, will uh, was used to study about this and ask the question depend ask the question on the base of the based on the model and everything so see the same thing happened with him with neil bohr sorry neil bohr asked three question to the four the first question was first question was why your model is stable see why did he ask this question because they this both personalities they used to believe in one personality known as known as maxwell and according to maxwell if we have a rod on that rod if we are having any okay if you will if you will give a charge here how do you charge let's say this is a rod on that rod we are attaching one balloon or we can attaching some glass if we do that and if we rub this thing there will be a positive charge or there can be a negative charge
okay now what if you if you move this if you move this like uh, in a random motion you will feel that this charge will lose energy its charge will lose its energy okay yes so this loses energy now what if energy is lose yes this was this was a theory by maxwell this was a theory by maxwell okay so rutherford asks that if a negative charge is moving that means it will lose its energy so rutherford accepted yes neil bohr told this thing rutherford accepted so he was like see you have a nucleus you have an electron which is moving around the nucleus if this is happening just understand if this is happening that is if electron is moving if electron is moving if electron is moving and it is losing energy then what will happen then what will happen this will lose energy and it will go down 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 and it will going to collide in the nucleus right or wrong yes but this was not this was not happening this was a stable stable orbit and for for happening this there would have they would have take only the time of 10 days to minus 8 second not even a fraction of second not even this not even this time okay not even a time in which i am saying this cutty okay so but this was not happening you know why it was not happening he asked to do the food so the food accepted everything yes if charged particle is moving that means it will lose the energy if it is losing losing the energy that means that means it will collide with the nucleus but this was not happening so he asked to the other food why it is not happening to the food with a genuine person he told i don't have any idea about it okay so yes this was the first topic what he could not explain the stability of atom why his atom was stable now he could not explain let's move further now what now next is we have a nucleus we have nucleus and we have electron revolving around nucleus we have a nucleus and we have electron which is revolving around the nucleus electron which is revolving around the nucleus okay. nucleus and electron which is revolving which is revolving around the nucleus if in this if in this i would have added heat if i would have added heat it would have given me the another spectrum and if i would have passed visible light if i would have passed visible light it would have given me some another of another spectrum for heat for heat for heat yes for heat it would have if it would have give us spectrum like violet blue and yellow so for visible light it was given us indigo green orange and red see the difference while passing heat another spectrum was obtaining and while passing visible light we are getting different okay 
okay why this was happening because we should get a continuous spectrum okay but why this is happening while passing we are getting another spectrum while uh, while uh, look means while passing visible light we were getting another spectrum why this was happening he asked who asks nilpur to whom to the food then to the food told i don't have any idea about this thing. so he could not explain two things first thing was first thing was why why atom is stable second what why atom is stable second what second was why we are getting discrete spectrum not a continuous spectrum okay this two things was not able to was uh, this neil bohr wasn't able to explain okay